Hammers one deep left field. This ball is gone. Way out of here by Sue. Hey, this kid's got great power. It's time to hear from the players and coaches. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, to BYU head coach Mike Littlewood forthcoming momentarily. Final score here today, Pepperdine 7 and BYU 0. Cougars shut out for the first time this year as Pepperdine scores 7 runs on 11 hits, BYU 0 runs on 6 hits, and Scott Haas, as you noted, those hit totals are the very same from last night when BYU won the game 4-2. Yeah, and it's that's just how this game goes, but the, the one thing that BYU could not get anything going, those double plays in the heart of the game, back-to-back-to-back to back to back double plays throughout the lineup, really... Really hurt us. And that's that's credit to, to you know Pendergast, and he was throwing pitches the right place, and he wasn't trying. He wasn't overpowering. This was not a situation where a guy was coming in and blowing away BYU, and they just couldn't catch up. We just could not get good swings on it, and get anything happening. And those double plays took us out of every inning. Four of them on the day. They're just one turned by BYU. Pendergast won 107 pitches for a complete game win. The Waves' fourth complete game staff win this year by four separate pitchers. Pendergast, the win, goes to 4-2 and two with the complete game. Justin Sterner takes the loss and falls to 7-3. BYU today sees a 1,612 fans in attendance on a sunny Saturday. It turns out to, to be uh, the fourth-to-last home game of the season for BYU. Just three more home games remain as the Cougs now hit the road for 11 straight away from home, 15 of 18 away from Provo to end the regular season. A couple of quick numbers of note. Uh, Pepperdine scores three in the second, one in the fourth, one in the seventh, two in the eighth for their seven. BYU does not score for the first time this year. Uh, Pepperdine uh, spreading it around, but uh, the uh, hitting star for the day was uh, Corey Wills, three hits on four at-bats with a couple of runs scored for Wills. He was the engine today. Uh, RBIs came from Lutz with a couple, uh, Cook with a couple, Singletons from Maudlin and McAfee, a run scored on a wild pitch as well. And those are your numbers of notes. Scott Haas, pleasure working with you today. Great being with you again, and uh, I'm excited to see what happens in the second half of this season. I mean, I know road trips can be rough, but I think BYU is really taking a step back at this. A lot of things, a lot of momentum. And uh, I think BYU is at a great spot to do some good things. This is going to be fun. Good to be with you. Thanks again, Scott. Mike Littlewood next here on the New Skin BYU Sports Network. Hey, this kid's got great power. It's time to hear from the players and coaches. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the New Skin BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Pepperdine takes today's game. BYU takes this weekend's series. Pepperdine 7, BYU no score is our final score here today on a sun-splashed Saturday at Miller Park. Greg Rubel visiting with the head coach, the Cougars. Uh, Mike Littlewood, pretty comprehensive win for the Waves today. Uh, Eight of their nine starters picked up hits, and they got another complete game win uh, from their pitching staff. Yeah, they they definitely came out ready to play today. Pentagrass did a great job. Uh, Obviously, complete game, uh, three-pitch mix. Uh, induced ground balls when he needed to, and they got four. <laughs> that was a frustrating second through the fifth double play. Base hit, double play, or uh, getting the leaning guy on and, and double play kind of takes a wind out of your sails a little bit. Uh, but overall, good series. I told the guy, I, I felt like we showed up just a little bit. We were ready to play, but a little bit passive, a little bit flat, and um, we kind of settled, like we talked about yesterday. We kind of settled on, oh, we won the series. Let's just finish this game out. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of killer instinct today. And uh, it's a game that you talked, you kind of, you, in the pregame, you said, we don't want to be that team mm-hmm. that San Diego was, say, last Saturday, as an example. And you never intend to have it turn out the way it did. Did you sense that there was a little juice lacking at some point? Well, I think what set the tone really was, was Sterner on the mound, always getting behind. And, you know, even though he gave up a couple jam shot hits, that he just was always working behind. It's so It does so much for your team when your pitcher is working quick, when his tempo is good when he's working ahead of hitters, uh, whether they get hits or not, whether just taking control on the mound. And I think we got a little bit defensive. We got on our heels a little bit um, from, from the get-go because he was, you know, he just wasn't super efficient. And so made the change, and then Lester leaves one pitch up over the middle plate, and they, they score a couple runs. But, you know, overall, tip your hat to, to Pepperdine. It, it's tough to come into an environment like this and after you've gotten beat a couple times, just like we did at San Diego uh last week to to get that w on that saturday after losing two so they did a good job especially pendergrass uh, pep wasn't a team relying on a lot of double plays in fact they were averaging about one every two games when it comes <laughs> right down to it and there they are getting one per inning for four straight innings. yeah it was it was amazing and not only does it help them it kind of it, it really it defeats you just a little bit because you're like at home okay all we need is a a, a base hit here and then we're going to get something rolling 
and then all of a sudden it turns into a five pitch inning. Um, that, and that's why he threw a complete game. I'm sure he's right around 100 pitches. I think he was at uh, 107. Yeah, yeah 107. 107 yeah. Uh, very, very, very efficient uh, for a nine inning game. All good things come to an end. Uh, you're shut out for the first time this year. And uh, Jackson Clough, after reaching safely in every game, all 32 this year, didn't find a way to get on today. Yeah, we'll just have to, you know, he hit, hit a couple balls hard. They were playing him in the gap. Um, but n- nobody really swung the bat really well today. I mean, it just Mitch Mitch put a good swing on one, and really that's the only ball that I can think of that was a really good swing, really good result. So now it's on the road for 11 straight and 15 of the last 18 to end the regular season, and you start with an out-of-league set this weekend up in uh, Seattle. Yeah, a tough, tough Pac-12 team um, can do a lot for our RPI. It's going to do a lot for us seeing really good pitching before we finish off the last few weeks in our in our league play. So really looking forward to going up to Seattle and, and playing Washington. Really good team. Okay, so last thing for you, Mike. You're five series in. You're ten and five, which basically amounts to five series wins, if you will, if you want to look at it that mm-hmm. way. How yeah. do you feel about where you are at through 15? I feel good. I don't think we've thrown any away. Um, you know, we we haven't beat ourselves. Today was probably the most disappointing we've had besides last Thursday when, when we lost 15-5. But um, uh, really satisfied with it, to, to be honest with you, to be sitting within a game or two of first place um, because everybody's going to beat each other up. There's not, nobody, I don't think, that's really going to run away with this. And so we'll scoreboard watch just a tad today and, and tomorrow and see what happens there. But uh, proud of our guys. We're, uh, we're probably um, ahead of where I thought we might be in league. If you want to get to Stockton, then you do. You're going to earn your way there on the road. Of your last four series, three will be played away from home. Yeah, I mean, and it's tough at this level to win it to win it on the road. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Pepperdine's a really good team. They come in here and we we beat them a couple times. But I think it's a, you know, it's one talent, but it's mental toughness and just going in believing that you can win on the road. And we've had pretty good success. The the nice thing about uh, this time of the year is w- when you look at our, how we open the season, we're on the road the first three weeks and so uh, we're down at corpus christi and beat corpus christi on their field went to beaumont won that series uh, against lamar and so this team knows how to win on the road we're not going to be intimidated but uh, it does it's a little bit more difficult to win games on the road well i've really enjoyed our pre and post game conversations this week and uh, calling your team's games this week safe travels to you down the stretch yeah i appreciate it greg thanks all right thanks a lot that's head coach mike littlewood and byu does fall today by a final score of seven nothing in this series finale against the pepperdine waves and that is going to do it for this sunny saturday in provo our thanks to the crew back at uh, byu radio adam smith uh, terry south barry squires And uh, here at uh, BYU Miller Park, BYU's Baseball Media Relations Director, uh, Jordan Christiansen, along with others. Uh, My color commentary colleague today, Scott Haas, much appreciation. And uh, who do we have interning today back? Was it intern Lindsay today? I wonder. I do wonder. Well, either way. We thank all those folks and uh, remind you that uh, Brent Norton is back on the mic next week as BYU heads to Seattle. Take on the Washington Huskies as that uh, long road stretch continues down the home run for the BYU baseball season as they now have 18 games remaining and 15 will be played away from home. That'll do it. Once again, final score, Pepperdine 7, BYU 0. My name is Greg Rubel saying in the meantime and in between time, this has been BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good day and so long from Provo. You've been listening to live coverage of BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. BYU Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.